Am I the asshole? For telling my roommate my stripper pole is staying in the living room. A few months ago, IF20 decided I wanted to take up pole dancing. I told my roommates Amanda F20 and Holly F26 that I was thinking of getting one and installing it in the living room, and they said go ahead. Side note we had no furniture at the time, so this pole was installed in an empty living room. A little while later, since nobody else was getting furniture, I got a couch off Facebook Marketplace. Holly also got a TV for the living room. Right after we got the TV, Holly demanded that we move the pole out of the backside of the living room so that the TV and couch could fit in the corner where the pole already is. I was confused by her request because the couch was already placed close to the center of the living room and there was an outlet available for the TV to go in front of the couch. I asked Holly why she wanted to move it into the corner, and she said because she wants a cozy little nook. I told her that the pole is quite difficult to move and install, and the pole being in its existing spot gives me enough room the new spot she suggested would have me slightly in the way of the hallway, and I couldn't tell if there was a stud where she wants to move it to. Because of those reasons, I told Holly kindly that I wouldn't be moving the pole. And the couch can stay where it is on the other side of the living room. Partly because I own the couch, and since she simply asked me, I'm allowed to say no. She didn't respond well to this she contacted our rental company and told them that we had an unauthorized stripper pole in our unit that no one agreed to. An administrator came to our unit and told me that the pole needed to be removed. I was obviously pissed she snitched on me, so I told Holly if she still wants her cozy little nook, she can get her own couch. I'm restricting her from using mine. Am I the asshole? ESH. You are both being selfish and immature. Sounds like you guys have some growing up to do. ESH. You're TA because you are unwilling to compromise in a shared living space. The pole was okay in the living room until you got furniture, now you don't have an empty room, so it makes sense for your roommate s to want to use the living room for its intended purpose. Your roommate is TA because she went to property management instead of trying to work with you on finding a compromise. You're the asshole. Yes, you had permission at first however, as people get settled in, you need to accept changes. You don't get to permanently hog the common area with your exercise equipment. Put that in your room where it belongs. It would be like putting an exercise bike or Bowflex in the middle of the living room. I'm guessing keeping the pole in your room wasn't an option? You're the asshole. It's not a bachelor pad it's people's homes. You're the asshole and it sounds like you're trying to justify by qualifying that you bought the couch. I have a feeling your roommates have a different view of the situation. If you guys can't talk this through and come to a compromise, your living situation won't last long. You're the asshole. You likely should never have installed the pole in the first place. Get over yourself. Not the asshole. I'm sure the roommates had some sense when they agreed to it that it wasn't just going up for a week or two, it's a fairly difficult and permanent install. If the roommate really snitched on me and potentially jeopardized my living situation I would absolutely be petty back. She wouldn't even have a cozy little nook if you didn't acquire your couch, rolling eyes face. This situation is already fucked. My question is how does Amanda feel about the pole and the couch placement? You guys have an obvious tiebreaker in the third roommate. Emo it doesn't matter anymore since I'm assuming you and Holly hate each other though. You're the asshole. You have two roommates. You don't live alone. You can't keep a fucking stripper pole in the middle of your living room if they don't want it there. Everyone is saying YTA but it's at least TSH. You should have tried to compromise, but Holly should have handled the situation like an adult instead of going to tattletale on you because she didn't get her way the first time. Not the asshole you asked and they said yes. 
it's okay for them to change their minds, but it sounds like only one of them objected and it wasn't for any practical purpose. There should have been a discussion with all of the roommates to see if anyone else objected. And she certainly shouldn't have gone to the landlord without talking to the other roommates first. You're the asshole. Permission for your exercise equipment in the common area was revoked. As a common area, how it's used must be agreed upon by everybody on an ongoing basis. If you store your personal couch one that isn't allowed to be used by others in the common area, you would be continuing to be an R. The couch would be in my bedroom so fast her head would spin faster than you did on that pole. Even if I had to take apart some furniture in my room to fit it in. You're the asshole. You didn't need your roommate's permission to install the pole, you needed your landlord's. I'm guessing you'll be out of this situation at least and so you should start looking for a new place. ESH. Don't be roommates if you are both going to be so petty. I think not the asshole. You asked permission and she said yes. Why does she get to dictate the setup of the living room for a couch she didn't contribute to? Then to go and report you. Sometimes when you live with other people you have to be a bit flexible. Not the asshole. Hope you find a better living situation soon. Not the asshole Jesus Christ what is wrong with these comments? You literally expressly asked your roommates if you could install one, they said yes, your roommate wanted it moved for no practical reason, literally just vibes, and when you reasonably said no and pointed out the issues, she tattled to your landlord because she couldn't get her way not because she actually cared about the landlord or you having the proper authorization. Everyone on Reddit loves their moral high ground, but in real life nobody likes a snitch. Natar, you got permission from everyone and it's your couch, your roommate is a giant asshole for not coming to a solution and instead trying to instigate problems by bringing in the landlord. She can buy her own couch if she wants to be petty after already agreeing to the poll. I don't think your roommate's situation is going to last, sure, being petty is immature but the roommate took it further than it needed to go. Not the asshole. The second she snitched on you it was over. I personally value loyalty over everything so if this were me the friendship would be over and I wouldn't permit her to stay on my couch. I don't know if you think this friendship is repairable, if you think it is go for it if you think it isn't leave it be. Not the asshole. You're being petty, 100, but she was so incredibly immature and rude to go to management for something like that she doesn't deserve to use your couch. If she wants a cozy nook so bad, let her furnish it. And if her real issue is with the pole herself, she should have just said that. You're the asshole, it seems that you didn't get proper authorization to install the pole to begin with. Ah. I had a stripper pole in my living room for a while. Now it's in my bedroom. I think you guys need to talk it out. What's her concern? Is the pole blocking other things? Having it near a hallway sounds uncomfortable and will be even more obvious to anyone visiting so if her point is to disguise it, that's not going to work too. Not the asshole not one of them was thinking about getting furniture until you started to. The fact no one even mentioned your roommate trying to take control of your stuff is insane.